Hi everyone, welcome to our read aloud for today. I thought that we would read um, an Easter story because this weekend will be Easter. So I have for you Hopper's Easter Surprise. All right, so in the story, Hopper is this white Arctic hare who really wants to be like the Easter Bunny. So we're going to uh, follow his adventures and I hope while you're listening and reading, um, you pay attention to the watercolor illustrations because they're so beautiful in this story. So I hope you enjoy the story as much as I do. Hopper was sitting in his hollow thinking, will I always be an Arctic hare mama? He asked. Of course, said his mother with a smile. You'll grow bigger and stronger, but you'll always be a hare. I wish I could be another animal once in a while, said Hopper, leaping nimbly over his mother's back. I want to fly like a bird. That would be fun, said his mother, but I'm afraid you can't. Just think what hares can do, though. No other animal can leap or turn somersaults as well as you. Hopper followed his mother to the edge of the high plains and gazed down into the valley below. Do all hares look alike, Mama? Hopper asked. I hope not. I don't want to look like all the other hares. You don't look like all the other hares. One of your ears has a beautiful blue tip. When the summer comes, your fur will turn brown and you'll look more like the hares who live down there. The Easter Bunny has brown fur too. The Easter Bunny? Who's he? The Easter Bunny is someone very special. I have heard many wonderful stories about him. They say he can run faster than the wind, and when he ducks down into a hollow or hides in the undergrowth, not even the falcon with its sharp eyes can find him. That's why no one has ever seen him. What else do they say about him, Mama? asked Hopper eagerly. He is very brave. Neither the fox nor the wolf frightens him. And every year at Easter, he collects eggs from the hen houses and cleverly carries them home. Then he decorates the eggs and hides them for children to find. There, now I've told you everything I know. I want to be an Easter bunny, cried Hopper, rushing away. But after a few moments, he stopped. Just how do you become an Easter bunny, he wondered. Let me think. What did Mama say? You have to be brave, and you mustn't be afraid of the fox. So Hopper went bounding through the forest, looking for a fox. At last he found one. The fox was sleeping in a hollow log. He had expected a fox to be more dangerous than this. Fast asleep, it looked quite harmless. If only Mama could see how brave I'm being, thought Hopper. Suddenly, the fox leaped out and tried to grab Hopper. He had picked up the little hare's scent from a long way off and was only pretending to be asleep. Hopper just managed to jump out of the way. He turned a quick somersault and ran for his life. Hopper raced into a thick clump of long grass and crouched down as low as he could. He was out of breath and his heart was pounding. He certainly couldn't run faster than the wind, like the Easter Bunny. But hiding was good enough. The fox gave up looking for him and trotted away. Oh dear, it's hard work being an Easter Bunny, sighed Hopper. He crept quietly out of the long grass and hopped into a meadow. Hopper couldn't believe his eyes. A brown hare was sitting right in front of him. Hello, said the brown hare. Hello, said Hopper shyly. Are you the Easter Bunny? The Easter Bunny? Who's he? I'm just an ordinary hare. That's a pity, said Hopper. Then he told the brown hare everything he knew about the Easter Bunny. I want to be an Easter Bunny myself, he added. What a great idea, said the brown hare. Come on, let's go over to the hen house. It can't be that hard to carry a few eggs around. Once inside, the two hares explained to the hens that they wanted to be Easter bunnies and needed some eggs. Of course you can have some, cackled a kindly hen. Here, take these, one for you and one for you. But mind you don't drop them. Don't worry, we'll be careful, and thanks a lot.
Come on, said Hopper. Let's take these back to my mamma. She's sure to know the best way to decorate them. They walked very carefully, but the climb up to the high plains was just much harder than they had expected. Just before they reached the top, disaster struck. Hopper took a tumble and the brown hair tripped over him. Both the eggs were smashed. Hopper's mother tried to comfort them when they got home. Don't be sad, children, she said. While you were away, someone brought a present for you. Hopper and his friend stared at the beautiful white egg tied with a red ribbon. Is it from the Easter Bunny? asked Hopper. Yes, it is, said his mother. He thought you might like to decorate it yourself. You're very tired now, but in the morning I will show you how to paint it. Then the brown hair curled up close to Hopper, and soon they were both fast asleep, dreaming of all the lovely patterns they could paint on their special Easter egg.